Hi, this is Barry here, and you're very welcome to today's podcast episode from Redcom.com. And today's podcast episode is entitled Looking Under the Mental Hood. Now, it's something we don't normally do. We don't like to, you know, study ourselves. We'd probably make complaints about everybody else. We could tell everybody what's their faults and what's wrong with them or wrong with their businesses or whatever it is they're doing. But actually to focus on ourselves is something that we don't normally like to do. And that's what I want to have a look at in this podcast episode. Now, like anybody setting up a business, whether it's writing, whether you're setting up a blog or whatever, maybe internet marketing business or whatever it is you're creating, you know, it's going to be a scary time for you. You're going to be have like a, a roller coaster of emotions, you know. Some days, if you're a writer, you might sell maybe 10 books and then all of a sudden you think you're on top of the world. You know, the next couple of days you mightn't sell anything and your emotions are probably flip flop. And, you know, one day you might had maybe five readers onto an email list and you feel like you just you have everything down perfect you know exactly what you're doing and then you know maybe a week or two could pass then and then you have maybe hardly anybody joins up to your email list and you know you're going to have those kind of moments of you know thinking you're full of confidence you know it all and then the kind of the low point like the yeah you know as the as the, the roller coaster cart is heading down the, the hill and plummeting down sometimes your um, confidence in yourself can go down and you know it's at these moments that you need to have something um, set aside to motivate you to get you back up on your feet again um, and to keep going because you know like a box will be knocked down you know you're going to question yourself is it worth my while getting up again you know is it just easier to quit rather than getting up and trying again because you know i'm going to put myself through it all over again now if you've all if you've already been um you know a regular listener of the right come um podcast you probably heard me mention one of the things you can do to build your confidence up is to gather testimonials to gather um book reviews now positive ones um because you know like for the majority of us those negative reviews um you know stay in our mind far far longer than the positive ones and because of that you know it's well worth you know if somebody gives you a good review on amazon or somebody sends you a testimonial or whatever just do maybe a screen capture of it or maybe write it down in a pad or whatever and then you know either keep it a notebook or maybe if you have maybe a dropbox or something like that send all those images over to there and you know when you're having those low times you know open up that dropbox or open that notebook with all those nice things that those people said about you and you know read back through it and it'll give you more confidence in yourself that you know that you are making a difference in people's lives you know people like your work people like reading it or they've maybe they've learned something or you've motivated them or something like that you've helped them to you know to be a bit more better than they are and it's all came about because of you and that is one of the things you can do is to um you know is to collect all that all those kind of nice thoughts and all those kind words and you know look back over them when you are going through a hard time now another thing you can do then too is to actually look at yourself for one moment now this was something i never really thought about much until i created the course on uh, creating fictional characters now in the beginning i used to find coming up with a character was you know was the most difficult thing i could find you know i might have maybe a, a storyline in mind or some kind of plotting thing i had together but actually to create the characters themselves you know i kind of came up you know blank and maybe i would use maybe some template that somebody had put on the internet and i would use that as my character and run with it and then i used to wonder then why was my characters why would they feel flat or why was there no emotion in them and they were just kind of more or less like a shark they were dead behind the eyes because i was using that rather than me actually having a look at my own characters and you know what actually made them tick and that's what i'm asking you today have a look at what makes you tick like if i ask you the next series of questions i just want you to think about it for one moment you know if i was to ask you why out of all your family and your friends that you've decided to create an online business or a blog or why did you want to be a writer you know what would that answer be you know everybody that's in your you know your circle of friends or your family you know maybe you've never had there never been anybody who has ever written anything never published a book or whatever it is so i'm asking you then you know the answer to that question what separates you from them what made you want to create an online business what made you want to be a blogger what made you want to be a writer now i want you to get a pen and paper and i want you just to write down the answer to that question now another one then too is why have you settled on writing publishing or whatever the niche or genre that you're in right now you know why have you decided to write articles for the weight loss market why have you decided to write in the particular genre of romance novels that you're writing or why have you set up a blog on a certain topic or why have you you know created a video course on a certain thing or why you know why do you how what do you why do you feel that video course you know you put together what 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 people were you trying to help 
And I want you to think about that more. Why did you settle on that niche that you're in? You know, what you know, um, does it bring to you? How does it motivate you? Or, you know, do you get excited because you're writing in that romance genre? Or, you know, do you get excited to create that video course because you know the videos you're making is going to help somebody maybe on the other side of the world? And I want you just to take a note of that too. Write that down on that piece of paper. Now, another thing then to have a look at is, you know, what do you hate that everyone else does that you don't do or wouldn't ever do in your niche? You know, what is it that you can see other authors in your niche do and that, you know, you think, well, there's no way I would do that. That's not me. You know, I would go in the opposite direction. Um, and, you know, what is it maybe if you're maybe an internet marketer, if you have a blog or something like that, what do you see other bloggers doing that, you you know, disappoint you? You know, maybe you think that, you know, they're doing things wrong and, you know, what way do you think separates you from them? What's the things that you would never do that, you know, if you dropped out tomorrow, if you didn't show up on your blog, if you didn't write your next book, you know, what would those readers miss out on because you weren't there on the scene? And think about that for a moment and I want you then again to write that down on that piece of paper. You know, if you didn't show up for, for um, you know, to write on your blog or whatever it is, I'm sure there's somebody out there that would miss you. Somebody out there is you know reading your content has been motivated by it you know somebody out there could be listening to your podcast episodes you know what if you didn't turn up for any more podcast episodes you just kind of drew a line in the sand and you said that's it you know i'm not getting anywhere uh, i'm walking away from it you know what would you know what are you bringing to that market what are you bringing to that those people that if you dropped out tomorrow then you know that they're going to miss it because you're not showing up and you know the more that you ask these type of questions you know as i said we don't normally like looking under the mental hub or mental hood um of our mind but you know by asking ourselves those questions why am i doing the things i'm doing you know what am i bringing to the marketplace what if i didn't show up tomorrow what would people miss out on um or whatever it is just keep asking those questions and when you do have those questions when you read back through it you know you'll find it very very motivating now for example here i just went through those questions myself and i just wrote this short piece out here so in my case you know no one in my family was ever a writer no one ever dreamed of being a writer you know i can't remember any of us winning any competitions for writing i don't even remember myself winning anything for competition even in english class you know i never wrote the best prose i never was taken up to the front of the class and asked to read out my work um i never studied writing but from where i started you know when i began writing when i started originally before the Write Comp site, I was, um, I got into self-publishing and I got into it through children's books. And what I used to do was I used to create children's picture books. Now, at the time I was doing nights, I was working in a local supermarket and I was stacking shelves every night. And, you know, I would work at night and then a few hours before I would go to work the next evening, I would sit down at the laptop and, you know, I would write up a children's short story. I would take images from some of the free image sites and I would use them for my children's picture book. And, you know, over time, because it was in the early days of the Kindle store, you know, anything that was in the Kindle store sold well. And... I was making money from it and for me to be a kind of shelf stacker working in a supermarket doing nights all the time that is the furthest that you could find from anybody who should be writing you know i wasn't somebody who had a degree in english or even studied any writing at all i never even picked up a book in writing i just you know i thought i had something in me i wanted to share it with other people and you know when those books started selling and i started getting a couple of reviews and i started getting people on the other side of the world saying you know i really enjoyed your book you know that is so motivating so in my own case then too, you know, if I think to myself, what do I bring to the table? You know, well, for starters, you know, since I've started putting content on the Redcom site, um, you know, over the years, you know, trying over and over again to create an online business and trying to get into network marketing or not network well i was originally sorry uh, before i actually got on the internet i was in the network marketing then too probably like most people are trying to make money that way and i think those people maybe who have gone through that when they do go on to line they jump straight into internet marketing and that was something I tried then too. But the only thing was I was getting ripped off left, right and centre. I didn't know what I was doing and people were selling me product after product. And, you know, none of the, you know, one of the, none of the, the jigsaw pieces seemed to, to match up. And, you know, I spent a fortune and I didn't have anything to show for it. And, you know, um, when I think about my wife, all the years she put up with the frustration of me, you know, spending more and more money online, buying Google ads or buying this report or buying this video course or whatever it is, and not having anything to show for it, you know, I can't believe that she actually still stayed with me because you know all the mistakes I'd made and all the many the, the, the all the money that I'd spent over the years and didn't have a thing to show for it and because of that because I have been on the other side I know what it's like not to have enough money for a hosting fee I know what it's like not to have mon enough money to pay for you know your monthly autoresponder fees or whatever it is and 
what I'm thinking I'm bringing to the table is because I've been to that and been down that road, you know, I don't want anybody else to be ripped off. When I think about me years ago and how naive I was and how stupid I was and, you know, how easily I, you know, clicked and bought everything with PayPal, you know, spend all this money on different things. You know, I when I, I think about myself, I don't want somebody else to go down that line. And, you know, the, this confusion that's going on, these people emailing people every day, you know, saying this product is going to be the most amazing thing ever and it never is or it never brings them the money that they need to and you know what I feel I bring to the market is you know I create products that I genuinely believe people can make money from and I think you know by me going through all those mistakes from years ago I don't want anybody else to go through that I would wish somebody could actually make money a lot lot faster than I do and that is what I think I bring to the table and another thing then too you know if I didn't turn up tomorrow you know um what would, would anybody really care what doesn't matter but in my eyes you know I think if I didn't turn up tomorrow now as you probably if you probably know me at well at all you'll know that I write daily emails and I'm constantly in people's inboxes coming up with ideas and you know light-hearted emails or making people think or something like that and I think if I didn't show up tomorrow a lot of people would just be going back to the usual kind of drudgery the boring emails and you know the one thing I like about writing the emails is because they're a little entertaining. They're a fun way to maybe maybe sarcastic sometimes to maybe to tell a couple of jokes or maybe go through some of my past history and funny some of the funny stories that I don't see any other marketers really doing that. And now this was something I'd learned from Ben Settle. So, you know, I give full credit to Ben Settle for giving me these ideas and for directing me down this road. But, you know, email to me is like my own little private radio station. You know, I have my own little audience. I email them every day with something to make them think or, you know, as I said, a funny story. And I I think that if I didn't turn up tomorrow I think now I'm not being big-headed um, but I think people's lives would be a little bit duller because I'm not there and you know before I start to kind of you know get a swelled head here or kind of you know bragging more about myself I'm not doing that um, you know to impress you I'm just doing that to impress myself you know I these are the things that I've taken note of you know I I think if I quit tomorrow you know I'll see a lot of people maybe buying products they don't need to be buying or you know going down the wrong path and you know years of frustration and you know maybe never thinking they can make money online and dropping out and saying oh it's a pipe dream it'll never happen but and you know if I feel that I can help somebody like that if I can give them a product and all of a sudden they make five or ten dollars you know even if it's like ten dollars a week or something like that is you know it kind of lights a spark in them it motivates them and you know if I can do that for somebody you know it'll you know it make a, a big difference in my life not even not even just the money wise but just the fact that I have lit a spark on the somebody or motivated them and the same is going to be for you that's why I want you to you know get that piece of paper you know why are you doing what you're doing what if you didn't turn up tomorrow or why you know out of all your friends and family what do you think you can bring to the marketplace now as I said like it's not you bragging because you know even for me reading back through that piece that I have written about all those different things you know even on a bad day I could read through that and instantly probably within the next five minutes it would motivate me to say you know what you know okay maybe I'm having a bad day today you know if I drop out and not do another podcast episode if I don't write another email if I don't create another video course you know how is somebody's life going to be a little worse off because I'm not there you know if I'm not there selling that that product that's going to show them you know the right way to maybe to to create a video course and they go buy somebody else's who promises they're going to do this and that and then they go through that and you know they, they they don't make the the money or they don't you know because it's a complete rip off there's no kind of value in that and you know because me not being there somebody's going to get ripped off because of that and again then too as well you know again you know you're going to have these up and downs as I said but by asking yourself these questions it's going to give you um, not only kind of ways to motivate yourself to but it's also going to make you ways to step out from the crowd you know with all the people who are um, who have blogs and you know who are writing you know straight away when I go through that story like there's not many of them can say well you know I started off and I was a shelf stacker and you know this uh, how I started off getting into children's books and blah 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 and you know that little story that I can tell my list every so often or I can tell my readers or even just telling you in this podcast episode is going to separate me from all the other writing blogs out there or the other writing podcasts you know you're going to think of me and say well yeah that's Barry he um, you know he owns Writecom and yeah I remember that's here in the story about him he was a shelf stacker and he got into writing children's books and then he started doing video courses and blah 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 and on and on it goes and it separates me from everybody else I'm not just another 
writing podcast. It's not another blog or it's not another email, email that people are getting in the inbox. You know, and the more you can ask yourself those questions and, you know, pull out those things. Now, I, I don't know if it's more of an Irish thing or something over this side of the pond. I, when I see the talent shows in America and all that, uh, Americans all that seem to be so confident and they have all these stories and they all, you know, believe in themselves and whatever it is. And, you know, for us over on this side of the pond, we are kind of people who aren't big into bragging or bravado or anything like that because you know Irish people have a good way of um, you know bringing you down to, to earth very soon and you know as we say you're having notions of yourself um, and you know we don't like doing that but sometimes you have to actually just to you know to get under the hood and just to pull out all those kind of good things about you and write them down and use them for those low moments when you you know when you feel that you're not making a difference when you know the blog audience isn't turning up or nobody's listening to your podcast or nobody's buying to your books you know keep reading through that and keep adding to it you know what makes you special and then again then to keep telling to your audience keep telling to your your podcast listeners your email uh, readers or whatever it is to separate you from the crowd so you're not just seen as the other you know another writer who is writing in the romance genre you're not another weight loss um, podcast or whatever it is you know pull out that story and you know keep reminding them over and over again and also keep reminding yourself and it'll help you get through those low times and then as I said too then as well too you know don't put off uh, you know any longer um, on collecting those book, the, the, the book reviews or the testimonials you'll start today start taking some of those keep snapping them out put them over in Dropbox you know print them off maybe put them in a notebook or something like that and read back the truth every day so you know so it'll help you get back on your feet and you know we're all going to have those low moments but if you can speed up the process of getting back on your feet and getting your confidence back up and getting going again it's really really worth well worth doing so hope you enjoyed this podcast episode it's probably a little bit longer than i normally do but um i hope it made you think or i hope it gave you some ideas maybe just to you know pull out some of those that good stuff that's already in your head and you know put on a piece of paper and keep reviewing it now if you enjoyed this podcast episode i would love if you would maybe even share it with one more person um and possibly maybe it might help them too as well now if you'd like to know more about me you're very welcome to come over to the right come site so that is w-r-i-t-e-c-o-m-e.com now you'll find all the podcast episodes over here you'll find articles you'll find emails and you'll find all my products over here and i'd be glad to see you drop by so as always thanks for sharing your time with me again today and take care and have a great day Bye bye